What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Sindel in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Sindel, some best strategies that you need to be aware of, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. Sindel is so much fun to play, more fun than she's ever been in my opinion, and she's got some great stuff. Let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butter, the things you're gonna use the most often with Sindel, including her normals and specials and her overhead options. She's got three three, not a combo starter, but a great way to throw your opponent off guard. She has back two three. That is a pop-up for a combo. We can do 1-1 one, one, back forward 2 after that. And the cool thing about that first back 2 move right here, that is actually a pretty good anti-air. And it puts you in the air, allowing you to do your air special, your down back 2. Now we're levitating, and we can go from there. Just a fun side note, here's how it might look on an anti-air. And if you're really fast, you can actually hit 2 in the air, drop down before your opponent does, and continue the combo. And then for her low options, she's got a couple crazy ones. Her back three, that's got really good range and pops your opponent in the air. And that's gonna be really good depending on your cameo. So here's how it might look for Frost. We can throw our Frost Ball out there, rush up back three, put our opponent in there, jump up, do a combo. There are just some crazy things you can do with cameos when it comes to Sindel. And not only that, but one of her best options when it comes to lows is her forward four three. Not only is it a low, it doesn't even look low, but that's also a pop-up for air combos. When it comes to air combos, Sindel has two main combo routes, and the first one is 1-1-4, one, one, and then we have 2-4-4, four, four, and then those can lead into air specials like her down forward one. And here's how they might look. So we're gonna do forward four, three, pop up, and then one, one, four. And what's really cool is you can actually cancel that into your down forward one special in the air, and in case you wanna see it. And then we have 2-4-4 four, four in the air as well. As you see, our opponent pops up, and I found the best way to handle that is depending on your cameo, you can then extend that combo. Another option is just to jump and hit one or just two, land before your opponent does, and then continue the combo. Jump up to land, one, one, back forward with two, and then go from there. But yeah, her forward four, three is a great option. It's a low option, it's a pop-up option. You'll be using that quite a bit. It's a bit slow on startups, so you might want to use it more for a wake-up pressure. But it's got a decent reach too. Speaking of wake ups, Zendel's best wake up options in your down forward four. This kind of frontwards flip. So if you enhance it, you get armor. And here's how that looks. Going over Sindel's special, she's got some crazy stuff going on. As I said, down forward to four, gets armor. Then it's an overhead as well, in case you want to throw it out there. You can do it after strings. Her back forward two is the scream. And it is by far my favorite move Sindel has, and here's why. Not only is it a stunner and allows for combo continuation, but it also resets your opponent from falling. And that is so important. And the reason why it's so important is because it basically negates your opponent's ability to do a wake-up attack on you and gives you the option to continue mixing up your opponent. So let's go ahead and do forward, forward, three, jump up two, and then one, one, one. As you see, our opponent is a hard knockdown. They have the option to do a wake-up attack, but if we do that same combo and do one, one, back, forward, two, instead the scream, here's what it looks like. Right there, you see our opponent is now standing. They had no chance to do a wake-up attack on us. Now, yes, we can continue the combo, or we can use that opportunity for cameos, and then continue. Her scream is my favorite move for that reason alone. You're basically telling your opponent, nope, you don't get a wake up attack. You're gonna be telling your opponent no quite a bit because of also her down back four move. This stops your opponent's cameo in their tracks. So you kind of got to read it when it comes out. So basically if you see your opponent using them quite a bit after a certain move, you see it coming, throw it out there down back four and you'll stop the cameo in their track. And then what's really cool is we have down back three and that helps our cameo. So let's go ahead and say we use our frost, right? Let's go ahead and use our assist move. You'll see our meter for our cameo start to refill. See how slow it is? Well, down back three speeds that bad boy up, so it regens a lot faster. Sindel is going to be not only a combo fiend, but a cameo fiend as well. If you need to zone for a minute, keep in mind Sindel has two awesome options, down forward one and down back one. And that one's a low. And they are full screen, which is great. And you can do down forward one in the air as well. You can actually use her down back one, the low projectile, in a combo enhance. Here's how that might look. You see how we did a flip kick as well? It just makes for some fun and flashy combos. It actually works better in the corner when enhanced though. 
Don't forget you do have your air special down back too. This allows you to levitate. You slowly fall and you can cancel by holding down or just attacking. It's also a great way if your opponent is really zoning out, like if you're fighting a Shang Tsung or something, to get in the air and just fly towards them. And you can combo from that as well. Sindel is really good. She's got so many tools and she really just tells your opponent no. She's also got some great combos. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy ones that you can learn today. Guys, let me know what you think of Sindel down below in the comments. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Take it one step at a time.